Okay, guys, let's see how we can handle HTTP client requests using uh, Angular Signals API. So here I found a very nice article about Angular making bridges between HTTP client and signals by Igor Pak, where it discusses several methods of handling such uh, subscriptions to observable type of data. The first one is uh, using direct subscription. Basically, we are subscribing to a stream, we are creating one signal, and then whatever we have received asynchronously, we are pushing it to the signal using the set method. So that's uh, one way. Another one is uh, directly by using promises without the HTTP client. In the promised version, we are grabbing just one value from the promise with first value from, and we are awaiting for this operation to complete, and we're passing everything to the signal. So it can be filled with data whenever the service returns something. The point is that await here is a blocking, so it will not fill the data until we have received something from the service. Actually, one way to do this is to use immediate invoked function. The other way is just to use the then construction because it will create a micro task. So this way we will be not blocking the main thread and uh, the operation will be asynchronous. Now there is a third way of using two signal from RX interrupt. And we see that there are potential drawbacks. Whenever we execute this to signal and we pass one observable to it, automatically we'll subscribe to this observable and we'll run it. So this will automatically send one request. The next one is that if we are consuming this signal, so if we are consuming this data, due to the fact that signals must have initial value, the signal will be filled with data. In this case, the initial value is provided and it's an empty array. But keep in mind that it will not wait for the data to appear in order to fill the signal. The other caveat is that if we are using outside of the constructor to signal a function, we'll need to provide injector. So in this case here is provided or to wrap the whole function to signal with this uh, block running injection context. And that's basically it. Now I would like to add several more examples of using signals to handle actual requests. Let's see this code here. We are actually making a post request and we have several signals. For example, here form submission state, form submission error. The point is that uh, here we are not using uh, subscribe at all inside of our post request, but with the RxJS tab operator, if we have successfully received certain information, we're using this side effect and we are setting our signal with a value. Then we're catching if we have certain errors in our requests and we're setting the submission state to error and the error to the error message which we have received from the server. If we would like, of course, to consume this information, we need to expose it somehow because this part here is our asynchronous part and the receiver will not be able to get it. For this reason, we have created computed signals that are reflecting on the change of those form submission state and form submission error signals and they are publicly exposed. And now if we go to the component that uses those computed signals, we can see that whenever we are submitting information or clicking on the submit button on the form, we're using two signal to subscribe to the previously described observable inside of the service. And then we expect certain response. So we are capturing the response and we are opening a snack bar with this response. And of course, if there is an error, we can show the error with another snack bar. From the template standpoint, the interesting part is that we can reflect on the changes of those computed values and display appropriate message to the user. So that was one advanced usage of signals with error and success handling uh, states. If you know better patterns of using signals API for handling HTTP requests, please feel free to share them.